Hello, very good morning all. Today's class will talk about the pharmacopoeial standards and their significance. And the word pharmacopoeia, it is derived from an ancient Greek word pharmacopoeia. The pharmacon meaning drug and poi meaning the making. That means drug making. And technically it is a book published by the authority of government or the medical or pharmaceutical society containing the directions for the identification of medicines. And shortly it is a legal document containing standards for medicinal commodities. And Pharmacopoeia is the official code containing a list of established drugs and medicinal preparations and the description of the preparations are called as the monographs and the following informations are preserved in pharmacopoeia description of drugs, tests for identity, quality and purity, storage conditions and dose. Uh, these are the some of the important pharmacopoeias Indian pharmacopoeia, British pharmacopoeia, United States pharmacopoeia, United States pharmacopoeia national formulary, USB NF and European pharmacopoeia, uh, pharmacopoeia of the People's Republic of China, Japanese pharmacopoeia. So these are the important pharmacopoeias latest version. Here you can see the Indian pharmacopoeia 2018 version, British pharmacopoeia 2019, USP um, their latest version in 2019, BNF uh, 2020, European pharmacopoeia and Japanese pharmacopoeia. And these are the other official herbal pharmacopoeia and monographs. The Ayurvedic Pharmacopoeia of India, which is known as API, Indian Herbal Pharmacopoeia, German Commission E Monograph, European Scientific Cooperative for Phytotherapy, the American Herbal Pharmacopoeia, WHO Monographs, USP Monographs for Herbal Medicine Compendium. And these are the herbal pharmacopoeias. Here you can see the Ayurvedic Pharmacopoeia of India which is red color, the Ayurvedic Formulary of India, Indian Herbal Pharmacopoeia and the WHO monographs on selected medicinal plants and British Herbal Pharmacopoeia, American Herbal Pharmacopoeia, Pharmacopoeia of the People, People's Republic of China. So these were the few examples. The Ayurvedic Pharmacopoeia of India. The Ayurvedic Pharmacopoeia Committee first established in 1962 by Government of India. And APC was the first functional unit at Department of Ayush. Ayush Nuvarninyala, Ayurveda, Yoga, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy. So Ministry. Ayush And in April 2006, it was shifted under Central Council for Research in Ayurveda and Siddha. And APC is the legal document for the quality control of Ayurvedic drugs and substances. And under the Drugs and Cosmetic Act, the API is the book of standards of single drugs. That is, we have drugs in particular monographs. Suppose, if you have a NN, or aloe vera, that is, we have individually accrued drugs in particular monographs. Which includes the official monographs of single drugs, pharmacognostical, chemical and Ayurvedic standards of the parts of the plants used in Ayurveda which are described in each monograph. That is why we have to the pharmacognostic evaluation. That is why we have to mention the chemical methods, Ayurvedic standards. That is why we have to mention So next, pharmacopoeial standards. What is the pharmacopoeial standards? The pharmacopoeia prescribes standards for the drugs and the following are the important standards mentioned in pharmacopoeia. First one structural standard, second one analytical standards, third one physical standards. So first structural standards. Herbal pharmacopoeia is learning that pharmacognostical standards are A structural standard comprises the structure form of the crude drug. That means uh, certain parts of organism concern. Suppose if a fruits, seeds, that like may be foreign organic matters and agam. The foreign organic matters should be carefully examined and detected. Because that is the detail of the last class of adulteration. We have to do that. Carelessness, we have to do preparation intentionally, unintentionally. We have to do adulteration. So, automatically the foreign organic matters may be included in the herbal drugs. So, that is the limit to pharmacopoeia. So, that is the percentage of pharmacopoeia. And uh, 
this foreign organic matters will affect the quality and therapeutic efficacy of the product and each monograph contains detailed botanical macroscopical microscopical description of the physical characteristics of each plant that can be used to ensure both identity and purity next analytical standards or phytochemical standards idu nammle detail aayittane ee valuation la discuss cheyidadana chemical methods ilum analytical methods ilum aayittu discuss cheyidadana these are the standards which are ascertained by various analytical techniques and the valuable sources of general analytical procedures are included in the pharmacopias and they require minimum quantity for the drug testing which include the chromatographic techniques like paper chromatography thin layer chromatography hptlc it is a high performance thin layer chromatography hplc gas chromatography and uh, spectroscopic methods chemical assays biological methods so idakke vivida tarathilla analytical methods aanu idellam ore pharmacopias lum paranjittundavu another one it is a physical standards these include the physical constants these are important for the unorganized drugs like oil fats waxes tannins and resins and some of the important physical constants are idum nammal discuss cheyidana evaluation la parnadana specific gravity optical rotation viscosity swelling factor refractive index melting point and density appo idum pharmacopoeias il parnittulla chala physical standards aanu significance of pharmacopoeial standards ee pharmacopoeial standards inde pradhanyam endana ultimately id endinana for the quality control of drugs whatever ipo herbals ayalum alladhella drugs ayalum for the quality control the quality control is always applicable to raw materials and to the final product adhaithu nammal oro oro stage ilum raw material mudala finished product varuna oro stage ilum nammal adinde quality urappu varuthundadund quality safety efficacy ekku urappu varuthundadund and a critical examination and identification of the two drugs is required in manufacturing herbal formulation because great diversity and variability in the physical and chemical characters in addition undesirable or harmful substances present in the material need to be evaluated to ensure the safety and efficacy of the materials therefore pharmacopoeias have laid down certain standards and these standards are numerical quantities by which the quality and purity of the drug is assessed say for example indian pharmacopoeia prescribe that the clove should not contain more than 5% of its stock so ultimately endakeyana urappu varuthunnathu quality safety and efficacy idana ee oru quality control la varunnathu appo adana pharmacopoeial standards inde oru significance ennu parayunnathu allengil adinde pradhanyam ee karyangalilakkeyana varunnathu okay that's all about the significance of pharmacopoeial standards in related to crude drugs thank you